Kintu and Nambe. In early times, nobody lived in Uganda except for one man whose name was Kintu. Kintu owned a cow, which was his only friend, so he was very lonely. Up in the sky, somewhere beyond the clouds, lived King Gulu. He had many sons and daughters who used to slide down to Earth whenever there was a rainbow and stay for a while to explore. They thought Earth was beautiful. One day, two of King Gulu's sons saw a rainbow touching Earth. Come with us, they called to their sister Nambi. So she joined her brothers and slid all the way down the rainbow to Uganda. Around the world, tales when they arrived, they saw Kintu sitting all alone, watching his cow graze. They were frightened at first, because they had never seen a human, but they soon made friends and spent a long time talking to him. When Kintu told them how lonely he was, Nambi felt sorry for him. Just before they left, she said, I will come back and marry you, and then you won't be lonely anymore. When they arrived home, Nambi told her father, whom she had promised to marry Kintu and live on Earth with. At first, King Gulu was angry, but he knew his daughter could not break a promise, so he gave her his blessing. However, said the king, if you want to be happy, you must go in secret, and you must not come back. If your brother Wallamba finds out, he will want to go with you, and he will spoil your beautiful earth. Wadimwa was also known as disease, and he liked to cause trouble wherever he went. Nambi agreed to leave in secret. She packed her most precious possessions in a bundle and led her favorite hens to the rainbow. As she was about to slide down, she remembered that she had forgotten the seed for her hens. I must hurry back and fetch it, she thought. She was just starting back for the rainbow when she bumped into her brother Wallumb. Where are you going? he asked. Nambi was so frightened she couldn't answer. Well, where you go, I am going too, Wallumbe said. Please, you cannot go with me, cried poor Nambi. I am going to Earth to marry Kintu. Our father said, you must not come. Oh, said Wallum, so you have tried to keep a secret from me. Well, I will visit you very soon then. Nambi wept, but as there was nothing she could do, she slid down the rainbow to meet Kintu. When she saw how happy he was to see her, she soon forgot her worries and began her new life. She showed Kintu how to plant bananas and vegetables in wide rows and how to weave cloth. She and Kintu were busy and happy and loved each other very much. Then, one day, Wallumbi came to visit. Nambi was very frightened. She said to Kintu, we must get rid of him. My father told me he would ruin Earth. But nothing, they said, could persuade Wallum to go away. Finally, Kintu and Nambi were so desperate. They agreed to give Wallumbi their firstborn child. Wallumbi was pleased and left them alone. Kintu and Nambi lived happily for many years, and they had a great many children. In time, they forgot all about their promise to Wallum. Years later, however, Wallumbi returned to claim their firstborn child. Kintu and Nambi were enraged and tried to drive Wallumbi away, but Wallumbi would not go. They pleaded and fought with him. In the end, their love for their child was too strong. Walumbe was forced to give up, but as he left, he said, as you will not keep your promise to me, I will stay on earth forever. Kintu and Nambi went on to have so many children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren that Uganda was soon full of people. However, every now and then, vengeful Walumba would come along and take a life or make the crops wilt. That is the story of how death and disease first came to earth.